things are banana plants. I don't have those in Washington. At least not just uh, growing out like this. Really cool. Aja had one, but it wasn't, uh, it didn't have leaves yet on it, which is huge. Look at that. Really big. No, I got the Philly. I know, but I saw the Philly, so I thought that would be better. <laughs> oh, really pretty. Look at all these baskets. It smells pretty up here, too. So they say all our food is lovingly cooked to order one sandwich at a time. This is not fast food. And I did read that online that uh, a burger can take up to 30 to 40 minutes to uh, get you. So that's okay. That's a burger. Jeez, my God. Look how thick that burger is. It looks awesome. Oh my gosh. And these are double fried french fries. Here. So I got the Philly steak. Oops, stick it down. Oh, yeah, that's yummy. They ask you how you want your uh, beef cooked, so I did mine uh, medium. I can't really see it in there. Ooh, yum. What do you think? It's very tasty. Yeah, I just can't believe that's about as thick as you can get for a hamburger. Here, we'll leave you the ketchup. Thank you so very much. Thank you all. You're welcome. Have a good day. Sure. Thank you. Appreciate it. Come on, Moo. Well, that was definitely worth the stop. Where's your phone at? In my pocket. You do have to go either next door to get a uh, beverage or bring your own. They uh, cannot serve beverages because the land is leased by the individual who owns the uh, gas station here and that was one of the agreements he still wanted to be able to make money off the beverages <laughs> so you just gotta go in the store and do that or bring your own water all right we are gonna get on the road and go see what else we can find boy that's an old house it was built in 1915 is what I can see on the plaque over there looks like it uh, Looks like it's falling apart. So we are trying to find a park to go sit at for the afternoon. We had uh, lunch and we all need to kind of sit and rest a minute. <laughs> it was very filling.
register equestrian campers uh, only. Please the register. Here. Yeah, but it has to be horsey but people. I think it is a paid site, so we'll have to go to the office. I don't know where the park is. Yeah, but it says equestrian, so that means with horses. Oh, with horses. Okay, well, I'll just turn around. Or am I supposed to just follow this all the way around? Around, we can just go all the way around, but um, yeah, I don't think Mumu wants us to ride her. <laughs> oh, no, she's not a pony or anything. She's definitely not a great She's not a pony. <laughs> we'll drive through here and see where we need to go. And Scotty, you're gonna go check out the prices and see what it is to camp. Uh, the loop that we just went through is for the horses, I believe, but I see a sign that says camping that way. So we'll check it out. I never go in with these guys because uh, we leave too many things in our rig with the cameras and stuff, so I'll see what it says once we go by here. Well, the campsite is $15, right, babe? For, yeah, if we take a tent place, which is just electricity, which is perfect. But we are turning around because Scott went to get in the back end of the camper and realized that we ran over something and our tire is leaking. Yeah. So we are going to try to make it back down uh, onto the road here. The gal said there's a tire store a couple miles down the road. To the left, yeah. To the left, so hopefully we will make it there before we can't drive anymore on it. Oh, well, we will. Okay. So we are at Tire Express. Change this tire out. We'll I go in and plug it. Is that what you're hoping to be able to do? Oh, yeah. yeah. Plug, plug it? Yeah, it's right in the middle. So okay. This, you know, this is in a good spot to plug it. Right on. Okay. All right, it's going to get plugged. Yeah, We're like going to. Yeah, that's what it looked like. I know. <laughs> all right. Drive all over the damn country and I find a roof nail. We're going to go sit in here where it's cool. <laughs> oh, lots of brake shoe. So we were saying since we got the tire off, might as well uh, take a looky in here. Looks good. I think he had to patch the tire because I don't right. think the plug is going to hold it. Yeah. All right, well, they'll get us back on the road. They're about the perfect size, that's the thing about them, to get caught. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's what the little culprit was right there. Ooh. So the gentleman just threw the our nail in here, and that's a collection of some that come out of the tires. He said this uh, sign up here is made out of the items that come out of tires. Interesting. Woo wee! It is hot in Georgia today. Yes. Woo! All right, we are all fixed up. We met some really cool people in there. Um, one gentleman gave us his card and offered us a place to stay on his property. And we were... It was, <laughs> it was uh, Thomas A. Leo. From what's your company? Oh. Let's see. Thank you. I don't you. have my glasses on. You can have mine. Oh, yeah. it's Georgia Alabama Woodlands, Inc. Yeah, so that was really sweet. And Thomas, if you're uh, watching, thank you for the offer. That was really, really nice of you and very hospitable of you to uh, offer us a place to stay. Anyways, Scotty's gonna go in the store real quick 
and we are gonna get back on the road just go down a couple miles back to that uh, campground and see if we can get a spot and plug in and get some air conditioning going so all right all done and that only cost twenty dollars to uh, get that fixed so that was a blessing right there because I thought it was gonna cost a little bit more that's the first time we've ever had a flat um, on our travels so we've gotten very lucky with that all right let's get on the road as soon as Scotty gets back We're gonna try this campground one more time <laughs> and hopefully it's a Volkswagen car show oh yeah okay so what I forgot to tell you guys was um, before the excitement of oh my gosh we got a flat tire <laughs> uh, there's a car show going on down here I it's 4 30 now so I'm not real sure what time it ends and how how late it goes um, not sure if it runs all weekend or not but anyways we're gonna go down here see if we can get a decent site and then we will go and check that out if it's still going on so Scotty was just saying that the Volkswagen car show is actually tomorrow so if we're here tomorrow then we'll take you guys and show you if not then we'll have to find another car show This is 24, and this is 25 over here. About those two. And then we, of course, have all of these down here. What do you think about 20? All right, I'm gonna turn the camera off because I can't film and, and figure this out, so we'll see you in a minute. Well, we were able to get two sites, seven and nine, for two nights. And they're really nice sites. I'll show you this one over here. Um, it's nice, sandy. You would think that this sand would stick to your feet, but it actually does not. It, it does a little bit, but not like it does like at the beach or something. But look how big they are. You could have a tent. This is the tenting area, actually. That you could have a vehicle up in here and a tent. And they all have power on this side. And the other loop has power and water full hookups. And they let us come to this one because um, even though it's the tenting area, they said that we would fit in these slots. So that's why we got lucky and we could come here and be on this side. But yeah, super, super great sites. Get him. Maybe we should start our fire. Maybe. I think it's all wet wood, though. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I said the firewood over there, and the, the nice the gentleman that wanted to roll and take his boat back that way. So, through, through Scotty, the wood. Scotty picked up some um, a a pretty, thing? yeah, that really big <laughs> oh, log that Scott that. brought over. Yeah. So there was a log over in the woods, and I said, "Oh, Scott, there's a big log." So Scotty pulls it over here, and Why then, didn't say something? <laughs> I didn't well, because he he was already moving it out, yeah. and wow. he was so sweet. So this guy came over, and he he asked if he could take his boat down our little area here, and so we said yes, but the wood was sitting there, and so he threw it all the way back well, into the woods. Now it's over the bank. <laughs> oh well, he was a really polite guy. Mm -hmm. 